Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to convert a PDF into Microsoft Excel. A PDF is a common format that from the Adobe website itself says gives people an easy, reliable way to present and exchange documents. There may be times where there's some information in a PDF that you want to do some additional analysis on using Microsoft Excel. And with that said, let's get started. Oh, and one more thing. We're going to do this without doing any copying or pasting using add-ons or add-ins or any third-party applications. Before we get started, let's take a closer look at the PDF that we want to convert into Excel. So here we have Tesla's quarterly update for Q1 2022. And let's find the table that we want to convert into Excel. So if we scroll through, we can see that the table for financial summary is located on page 4. This is going to be important for us to know. Now looking at the table, there's a couple of things that I actually would want to get rid of. So for example, we can get rid of the year over year column. We can also get rid of any lines that have percentages on them. And then we can also get rid of this line that says of which regulatory credits because it's just a subset of automotive revenues. Keeping those key points in mind, let's head on over back to Excel and start to convert this PDF and loading it into Excel. So here we are back in Excel and what we want to do now is connect to that PDF file. So to do that, we're going to go up to data and then in the drop down under get data, click from file because we want to connect to a PDF file and then we'll just click from PDF. And here's the file double click and then that will bring up this navigator window now in the navigator window on the left side are all of the tables that exist in the PDF and from looking at the PDF before we know that the table that we want is located on page 4 so we'll just click that and then on the right side it'll show a bit of a preview of what the data looks like now down here at the bottom right there's a couple of options. There's one to load the information directly into Excel as is, and then there's another option that says transform data. The transform data option allows you to use Power Query to make some adjustments to the table before loading it into Excel. And as I mentioned before, there's a couple of things I want to get rid of in the original table before loading it into Excel. So we're going to go with the transform data option. So I'm just going to click that. For those of you that are not familiar with Power Query, the Power Query editor is laid out like this. On the left side, you have all your queries, so you're going query to one table. The middle section is a preview and kind of like your sandbox and how you interact with the data. The right side has your settings for your query, which is split up into two sections. The first section contains things like your table name, the second section is your applied steps, and these are the steps taken to build your query. And as you can see, a couple of steps have already been applied before we even got started. So let's go ahead and go through them. So under the source step, that's us literally connecting to the PDF. And then in the navigation step, that's us picking table number two. One thing to look at here is that in row one, that's our column headers. So what the next step is gonna do is it's going to promote those to become our actual column headers in the query. And in the last step, it's trying to set data types to our columns. You actually have the option to delete certain steps if you don't want them. So in this case, I actually want to delete the change type step. So I'll just click the red X here. Now that we've initially loaded the information into Power Query, I can make the changes that I was talking about earlier. So the first one being deleting the year over year column. So I can just scroll on over, right click the column and then click remove. A Couple of other things that I want to do here is delete these blank rows. So I can go up to this column, click the drop down and then click remove empty. And then I also want to get rid of this line here that says of which regulatory credits so I can click that again and then scroll down and then click this uncheck this and then click OK 
All right, one last thing. Let's get rid of these rows that have percentages. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna have this column highlighted, then I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna use this unpivot other columns option. What that will do is it'll take the quarterly columns and turn it into a single column where the headers appear under this attribute column and the value of those columns appearing in this value column. Now from here, I can simply click this drop down and then click text filters and then select does not contain and then enter in a percent sign then click OK. So now that we've gotten rid of any rows that have percentages on them, what I'm going to do now is change the data type in this column to numbers because right now they're text. So right up here you can see these ABCs and that means text. So I'm just going to select currency instead. Then you can see the numbers have shifted over to the right and that, that means that they are actual numbers instead of text. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this column here and I want to pivot the quarters so that they become columns once again. So kind of like the reverse of what I did earlier. So once I have that selected, I'll click pivot column and I want to pivot by our value, which are the dollars, and then click OK. And now we have a clean data set from the PDF that we can load into Excel. So the way I'm going to do that now is I'm going to go up to home and then click close and load. And just like that, a nice clean table has been converted from Tesla's financial summary PDF into Excel. Now let's do something interesting. What we did was use Tesla's quarter one financial summary. Now quarter two has already passed. So let's say that we wanted to refresh this table using that information. So before I do that, I'm just gonna go up to the data tab and then go to get data and then click data source settings. So remember that this is the file that's being referenced. So as long as we replace this file using quarter two data, this table should refresh. So let's click on close and then replace our file. So here I have Tesla's quarter two update and what I'll do is I'll rename it to Tesla quarter quarterly update. And then I'm going to click and drag it into the, into the area where the current file is. It'll ask me to replace it, which I'll say yes to. And then we can go back into Excel. So here we are back in Excel, and let's take a look at these quarterly numbers as I refresh the table. So right click the table, and I click refresh. Perfect, it looks like the quarter two information successfully loaded into Excel. And that's how you convert a PDF into Microsoft Excel. If you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something today, make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video.